Breaking news, my wonderful people. See the dawn of a new day. See what is going on. APC postponement of the mega rally amidst rumor of Tinubu's poor health. Right from they went to Kaduna, then to from Kaduna, they now went from Kaduna, they went to Mina, um, that's Niger State. Um, and um, with all that has been going on, it's clear that, you know, there have been rumors that uh, Tinubu health has, you know, Tinubu health has become poorly, um, he's not in his best of strength, and um, they had to cancel or postpone this till he's better. And so many people are asking the same question over and over again. Must we have this? Must we have this? You know, this was what happened to uh, uh, Olusegwo Basanjo. Olusegwo Basanjo knew very well, without an iota of doubt, he knew. He was rest assured, he knew that our brother, uh, uh, former president, Leto Umaru Musa Radua, was not feeling too well. But guess what? He insists, even during the rally, the guy was having issues. What happened? At the end of the day, he did not complete the tenor. Yes, he didn't complete it. At the end of the day, he went to be with his maker, and um, today is a different ball game altogether. Good luck, Ibele Jonathan had to come in, and I mean, we are where we are today as a result of some of the things that have happened previously. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Mega APC rally postponed amidst rumor of Tinubu's poor health. It said the health they deteriorate. Let me say, you know, they are sound as he used to. The All Progressive Congress APC has postponed the mega youth rally as rumored surrounding the alleged poor health status of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Politics Nigeria recalled that Tinubu was rushed off the stage at the party presidential rally in Niger State on Wednesday, I mean, due to ill health. In a statement by the National Youth Mobilization Directorate of the APC, Tinubu Kashim Shetima's Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, obtained by this newspaper and dated on Thursday, December the 15th, 2022, APC youth members are set to watch out for a new date. The statement said Governor Yahaya Bello of Kogi states, who is the national youth coordinator of Tinubu Shatima's campaign directorate, that the Saturday rally would be rescheduled. It cited, it cited Thursday's death of Shakira as an alleged AP, an ally of APC candidate who in is Nigerian ambassador to Spain as one of the reasons for the postponement. But really, that may not be the real cause, as other quarters have it, that Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu may not be in his best of health. And Nigerians are wondering what really is going on here. So these are some of the things happening. Every single person is wondering what's going on. Every single person is beginning to ask themselves very serious questions. Yes, very serious questions. How did we get here? How did you get here? And we know it's just like a man who knows that water is hot. Okay, and without caution, you know, it's only someone that without caution will take the bowl of that same water and just pour it on himself. What is that man looking for? Death, right? Or he's looking for the way to see himself in the in the next um, in the next available uh, junction that will send him to his to his uh, grandmother or grandfather. Yes, is that not what that man is looking for? Now, APC, you, with all that is happening, with all that is going on, there is the rumor of ill ill health. Okay, which we have not confirmed because Tinubu himself has not come out to tell anybody that there are issues surrounding his health. Yes, we all agree on that ground. However, could he do us the onions and tell us if, you know, he's really, if is he adequate? I'm not saying he's not qualified. After all, he has held leadership position in different capacities. He has been a senator. He has been a former two-time governor. Yeah. And we're not saying he's not qualified, but the will, the, the, the strength, okay, the energy, the tenacity, does he have that? Does he have that? Can he, you know, that's what people are asking. 
And if you listen to somebody like uh, 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 Rufai, Rufai is saying we just need to, you know, probably going forward, health status should be one of the criteria that people should be presenting in order for them to be able to contest for such a position. I mean, it has happened before. Once beating twice shy, the adage goes. Eh? Leto Maru Musa Radua was, was not too well, was not very sound in health. Yet Olusegwa Basanjo forced him down Nigerian throat. And at the end of the day, he could not complete the tenor, not because he did not want to. I mean, life happened and he had to go. When it was time when his own whistle was blown, he had to follow the tray. They say, follow the ladder, follow the leader. He followed the leader. He climbed up the ladder and that's it. So when you look at it, you can begin to see, you know, uh, the same map out again. Could it be, you know, history trying to repeat itself? How did we get here? And that's why, honestly, you must wish this country well. You must pray for the country and you must do everything, humanly speaking, possible. You must arise and not allow the same thing over and over again. You see, the days upon us have come to show to us why we cannot allow or afford people who, you know, may not be honest in totality and sincerity to be our leaders. Most of these people are just, you know, looking out for things that will benefit them and not because they care about every other person. You see, most of these people are looking out for things that benefit them and benefit them alone. Remember, it's up to you and I to ensure that we make all necessary arrangements and proof and bring Nigeria out of the current predicament. These days, and with all that is going on, we cannot continue like this with the same thing over and over again and expect Okay, what and expect that things will suddenly change. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. No way. It doesn't work that way. There is urgent need for serious job to be done. There is urgent need for Nigerians to get on board with it and begin to work and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. See how far we've gone. See what has brought us here and see why we need to sincerely make this change yes it's up to you and i to ensure that um, we are rising up okay remember every single one of us will give account in terms of how we live you know with everything going on we will all give account see how we're living already with the buhari's administration based on our choice please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.